Okay, the last part of this section we're going to talk about is deals with areas and volumes. So you can find the area of a triangle given three points in the plane by using this uh, determinant right here. Um, the, if these are your three points, you put the x values down the first column, the y values down the second, and then you fill the last column with ones. And you take the determinant of this and then divide by two and that gives you the area. Now it might actually give you uh, the negative of the area, so that's why this plus or minus is in here. If it gives you a negative, you just take the absolute value. So let's look at this first example. Uh, find the area of the triangle with vertices 2, 4, 4, 1, and 5, 0. All right, so all you do is you put the x values 2, 4, 1, or no, 2, 4, 5, then the y values 4, 1, 0, and then a stack of 1s, and I'm going to put my 1 half in front, and that's either going to give us the area or the negative of the area. So let's, um, I'm going to do this one by hand. So when I multiply this out, let's see, I get, that's not what I wanted to do, I wanted my highlighter. So let's see, 2, 1, 1, 4, 1, 5, and 1, 4, 0. So this gives me 1 half times, that's going to be 2 plus 20 plus 0. then minus 5, 0, 16. And let's see, what is that? 20 minus 16 is 4, minus 5 is negative 1, plus 2 is positive 1, so it's a half times 1. So this thing has an area of 1 half. And does that make sense? Well, I guess if you wanted to, you could plot these three points out and see what they look like and look at the triangle. But it's uh, going to be a pretty small one. Okay, let's do one more. Find the area of the triangle with these vertices. All right, so again, we'll do 1 half times this x coordinates there, y coordinates here, and it's important to keep them in order. And one, one, one. Now let's uh, do this one by hand too. All right, so these going in this direction, we've got the half. It looks like we've got negative three plus three plus five, then minus these back numbers that that and that. So minus 9, minus negative 5, so plus 5, and then minus 1. So let's see, what is that? Negative 3 plus 3 is 0, 5 plus 5 is 10, minus 9, minus 1, this is 0. So uh, what that means about these three uh, points, since the area of this this triangle, so to speak, is zero. That means that the line, the three points are collinear. 